three points on opening day. Well, Peter, I can tell you that both managers will have stressed the need for a very strong start here. Both have also indicated a, a front foot approach. If that is the case, then I don't think we're going to be complaining at the end. I certainly hope we'll be eulogising. There's an awful lot resting on this, and we'll probably end up reflecting on that. Trincao. Played out towards the right wing. Oh, great shot. They've played it short. Cleared without complication. Trincao. And the ball is out of play. And around that D by, by stretching the defence. Look out for a, a late arrival or two from midfield. Jim City spots it and intercepts. Move forward and quickly so. Out towards the flank. The road. That's a ball. Well, that is one way to stop him. Running with the ball. And if you have just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. Lookman. Takes on his marker. Interesting ball. And he cuts out the supply. And we hit half time. Well, there it is, half time. Not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game remains goals. Some first half thoughts. Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start, and if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. So we're already into the second period. Sporting. Playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite the scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. 
Atalanta can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Good run down the right. Good spot, he's seen the run. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Gonzalo Inacio. It's an inviting looking ball that. Now it's Trincao. The pressing's intense and it's paid off. The room. Very few chances to talk off, Jim. Defences, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. The ball is loose, and the chase is on. Miranchuk! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Alexei Miranchuk really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Lookman. was no routine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. <laughs> Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Next to Rome. The Rome. That's a ball. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Atalanta showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Trincao. Oh, that is a nice touch. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Alexei Miranchuk. Lukman takes control of it and he's on the move. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And he ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. <laughs> now, who's going to be first to this? Leave it clear. <laughs> Deftly done. And there goes the final whistle.